Hey everybody, so as you know, my name is Kiansi Ashe and this is Blue Aura Healing Guidance and Tarot. This is going to be a reading for all of our Aquarians, okay? So Aquarius Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, Mars, or North Node. It really doesn't matter, love. If you in any way at all identify as an Aquarius, then this reading is for you, all right? Aquarius, this is going to be a really, really quick reading, you guys. Let us go ahead and jump straight into it. Let us see what the messages are. Right off rip, I'm feeling like somebody who doesn't really have as close of a relationship with spirit as you do has tried to do like some tampering in your energy or something like that. This person is not connected to source at all. The people that they are connected to or the energies that they are connected to feel really, really dark. Okay. Um, I also feel like this person tends to think the worst or feel the worst about you. Okay. But let us see. I feel like overall you're good. So we have broken heart here. Yeah, we have broken heart and woman holding a coin. I feel like it it kind of bothers you because we have magician and the mirror. Yeah, it's like somebody is projecting their energies onto you. So like let's say for example, if somebody has bad or evil intentions, they're projecting that onto you to make it seem as if you have bad or evil intentions. <laughs> okay. And so they're treating you like that. But it's because they know what they're behind the scenes doing. You get what I'm saying? Or how they are behind the scenes feeling type of thing. So even though it might bother you, you get what I'm saying? It definitely is heartbreaking, right? Um I feel like you might love this person or you care for them a great way. Um but with the number nine here, I feel like that's the final straw for you. You get what I'm saying? That That's pretty much it. That's the completion of that cycle. Um, instead of focusing on that and tending to that, whether it hurts your feelings, bothers you or whatever, you're just tending to your coin. You're focusing on your bag like you always do. That's what I'm getting. Because you know that you, you know, you get out what you put. I mean, you get back what you put out. So are you going to sit up there and keep crying over spilled milk or are you going to move on and, and keep the show going? You get what I'm saying? Next. So we have second chakra here. Yeah, it's all about your willpower, your confidence. I feel like you're very confident. Um, you know that you can do anything that you want to do. You can have any body you want to have is what I just heard. I mean, some people might say that's cocky, but it is what it is. When you're on the frequency of receiving and you're confident in yourself and you know who you are, you should feel like that about yourself. Um, of course, you're not going to be everybody's cup of tea, but baby, not not everybody is your cup of tea. You understand what I'm saying? So you shouldn't even be worried about whose cup of tea you aren't, right? Anybody that you want, you can have. And so it's no type of, um, you get what I'm saying? Bad blood or anything like that. Underlying energy here is indecision. Yeah, I feel like your, your mind is made up. We have angel love in reverse. So like I said, you did love that person. You had a lot of a lot of love for them, but just off of how they're treating you or the energy that you feel from them or the fact that they treated you a certain type of way based on them, them and how they move. You get what I'm saying? They know their intentions weren't pure. So they treated you like, what are you up to? You get what I'm saying? And that was enough for you. So you, you're ending that. All right. There's no if, ands, buts, questions, commas, concerns, none of that. Because the indecision in reverse, that's like your mind is completely made up. We have envy in reverse. Yeah, this person was low-key jealous of you. I feel like it's more so high-key. You get what I'm saying? This person was in love with you, but also jealous of you at the same time. Um, jealous of whatever it is, your light, your confidence, your creativity, your willpower. Um, I can go on and on and on and on. You get what I'm saying? But yeah, and possibly because they wanted this romance with you, um, happy family energy with you. And see, we have deceit. Yeah. So if you felt like you couldn't trust them and you withheld your love, it's for a reason. It's for a purpose. All right. But this person has their nerve to treat you like you're the bad person, like you did something wrong. <laughs> so, yeah, we have the moon card here. Okay, yeah, so secrets. Mm -hmm. Six of Pentacles. You just want something that is equal, equally yoked. We have the Knight of Cups. This could have been a committed relationship or just somebody that was, you know, offering love to you, sending you love messages, showing you that they're interested. Here's your energy, Aquarian. I feel like you're very enlightened, okay? Um, you're very conscious. Let us see. For our Aquarians. Yeah. Sounds like an F-boy. It's giving F-boy energy. F-girl energy. We got Ace of Pentacles. Like I said, you're just focused on your bag. For some of you, you could have thought this person was your masculine or your divine counterpart because the emperor is here, but this could also be you. Um, take the sex out of it. It's just you having discipline. You get what I'm saying within yourself too. Like I said, keep it moving, keep it pushing. Ace of Pentacles. A lot of you have built up something for yourself. It was just 444 in a timestamp, of course, with God and your angel's assistance. And I'm sure if you have a team, their assistance too. But you're, you know, you have options. Like I said earlier, okay, and what's underneath that? The Seven of Wands. Yes. 
this. So spirit is like you're being attacked by this person. A lot of you know that already, <clears throat> which is why you just keep your distance from them. Yeah, we have the sun card here, the two of cups. So it was like what they were showing you was love. You know, what they were putting out there was like they loved you, they cared for you, they did say that. And they did. But what was behind the scenes was they were attacking you because they were jealous of you. They were envious of you. They were hating on you. They were mad. They were this, they were that. All right. And so with the hermit energy, yeah. Mm -mm -mm. For some of you, this person ghosted you because of that. Okay. Let us see. What do we have here for our Aquarians? We have the Page of Pentacles. Yeah, so that's what it is. It's because you have the Queen of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles, and this person is the Page of Pentacles. Okay, so this is somebody possibly from your past, okay, um, that maybe you haven't heard from in a while, that you know, you guys are like-minded, you know you guys are supposed to do something together, work together in some type of way. This person does love you deeply, but once again, it's not your fault, The you get what I'm saying, that they feel how they feel, you can't control that. This is giving, like I said, F-boy, F-girl energy, you cannot feel bad for people like this, okay? So I just want to make sure you understand, <laughs> all right? Let us see. We got the page of swords. Yeah. So now that this has come to your awareness, you see things for exactly what it is. Like I said, temperance, you're just keeping your cool. You're like, it is what it is. What goes around comes around. All things have been divine timing. I'm not stressing it. Yeah. We got the emperor here. Once again, you're remaining disciplined, calm, cool, collected. We got the seven of cups, keeping your options open. Two of cups because there's love out there for you elsewhere. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> Ten of swords. A lot of you are seriously done. Like when I say done, I mean no more chances done like that's it okay yeah we got seven of pentacles you just want to invest your energy and your time into things and people that are the truth that are truthful okay and i also saw the death card so yeah we got the six of cups here for some of you this could have been a past life relationship but at this point you really just don't even care <laughs> all right so let us see we have the ace of cups yeah so here this person comes again wanting to make this offer to you but I feel like at this moment in time, you're good. You're all the way good because of how they continue to treat you. All right. We got the nine of cups here. I feel like I'm talking to some divine counterparts. You guys are more than welcome to join me for the divine twin flame readings. Oh, my glasses fell, y'all. Hold on one second. All right. I have to pick my glasses up. <sighs> but yeah, you guys are more than welcome to join me over there for the twin flame readings. All right, what is this? We have the Hierophant. Yeah, definitely. Twin Flame energy for sure, okay? I feel like you've been through it on your Twin Flame journey, and that's why you're like, I'm good. Nine of Wands, Nine of, um, I said Nine of Wands, Nine of, but it says Broken Heart. So basically what? What is this? Nine of something, right? <laughs> but anyway, so yeah, I feel like at this moment in time, you're just chilling, minding your business. You can still join us, though. You get what I'm saying for the readings because... Not every set of twins is going to be together. And I tell you guys that all the time. It doesn't mean that you can't still get messages, right? Something in there to help you heal, right? So, plus the twin flame messages can always say something about other people too. So you could be getting in other situations. Who knows, right? And then in some cases, twins do come together. Maybe we can sort through it, right? But let us see. We got the emperor. So, Adi K, my BFF of jail. I feel like... Divine timing is at play here is right when you decide, you know what, I'm good. I'm 1000% good is when <laughs> the person's going to be like, hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute, hold on. Eight of cups and the lover's card. But it's not going to matter to you at that point. Because like I said, everything that I'm getting from the reading is like this person thinks the worst of you. So, I mean, let us see. Or like now you think the worst of them. We have the lover's card. It's definitely a divine counterpart. We have the king of cups. We have the fool card in reverse. I feel like because this person feels like taking a chance, they, they view you as too much of a risk or they view you as something that they would like to do, but they just don't. You know what I'm saying? So I think that for you is pretty much where you draw the line and you're just like, well, let's just not. You get what I'm saying? It's not a matter of you will, but you won't. Let's just not. <laughs> Let's just not. I saw they'll be back in intimacy. This person gets intimacy from you that they don't get from anywhere else. And it doesn't have to solely be sexual. Okay. It can be, but it's chemistry most important. Um, something with you that they don't get everywhere else. 
so they continue to come back but i feel like this person is a narcissist yeah they're absorbed with themselves everything that you say everything that you do they think it's about them um yeah beyond full of themselves okay and it's mercury retrograde so in the event what's today mercury retrograde is actually over today yeah it's stationed in direct so maybe after it stations direct this person to come back and communicate all right but let us see mm, we have give it time everything in divine time and let things flow and we have divorce okay experiencing a breakup so i don't know what's going on there i don't know if you guys are go going through this breakup now with this person or they're going through something on their end i don't really know but we have communicate and date night and then pregnancy so y'all just be careful okay ace of cups is also a pregnancy card um and once again like i said this is your divine counterpart maybe you intuitively know x y and z who really knows but the energy that's coming off here is a large group of you are just done because like i said it's, the, it's this energy here like they would but they don't they want to but they don't and you're just like let's just not right but if this was your reading you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up and if you have not already go ahead and subscribe peace and have a great